Salut, fellow Vita enthusiasts and welcome! Homebrew news for the October 2022 are here, there's a lot to cover, so let's get cracking! First new release is Port of Cars by Seal Pop. Cars is based on old flip phone game called Formula 1, it is made in Game Maker Studio and it's pretty fun but it's also very unforgiving, go and try it out, it's for free! Second is a port of Regal Engine by Renegatamente, which is a modern re-implementation of classic DOS game Duke Nukem 2. It offers many modern day enhancements including widescreen mode, smooth scrolling of movement with high FPS, quick save, as well as extended modding features. You can play the first level for free and for other three levels you'd need to provide official game files. The game runs and controls fine, I'd recommend using D-pad cause joystick can act weird sometimes. Overall, very solid old school 2D title. Go and get it running today! Third is update for original game Agnostico by Nedmapagmal. It is a Metroidvania game. It runs much smoother now, around 30 FPS, with new animations. But I still couldn't quite enjoy it because it doesn't control the way I would expect it to. Plus the very annoying respawning creatures. Either way, it is for free. Get it from the link down below. Also guys, if you are enjoying these videos, like and subscribe because there is certainly more to come. Fourth new and recently released awesome real-time strategy port collection is called Isotope 244 by Renegatamente and it consists of Machines at War 3 and its predecessor Land Air Sea Warfare. If you are a fan of real-time strategy genre, this is a no-brainer and it's a real treat for all of us Red Alert lovers. To find out more about this title, check my previous video, link in the right corner. Fifth, we got a release of an English patch for Digimon Story, Cyber Sloth and Hacker's Memory. After three and a half long years, this work is finally done. Thanks to everybody that took part and helped to make it happen, it's greatly appreciated. 
This patch translates the Japanese Vita only Digimon stories into English. For full list of differences plus setup instructions, please check out the subreddit post, link is down below. Sixth release is for adult viewers only, I don't think I'm even allowed to say out loud the title, but it is a hentai visual novel inspired by Attack on Titan and ported by Polek. In case you want to give it a try, there is a package waiting for you at our Discord server, feel free to check it out. Following, we got some updates. First one is for Apple Save Tool by Bucanero to the version 1.0.2, and you can now download online saves to UX0. There have been also many new PSP cheat codes added, alongside some fixes. You can see the full change log right now on the screen. Second update is for Crunchyroll, world's largest collection of anime and drama, where you can catch your favorite shows and movies. As you may know, Crunchyroll officially killed support for all platforms at the end of August 2022, but as always, where there is a will, there is a way. Especially when you're on modded PS Vita or PS3, there is certainly a way to make it work. Shout out to the game blah blah for creating this cool bypass, and if you want to make it run on your Vita, I've seen a PSP Math has released a nice tutorial for it, so I'll link it for you down below. Plus there is also the premium mod that gets rid of the ads. So which one of the two are you right now? Hey, wait. Aren't you? Software Gojo. Third is very exciting and long-awaited update for the 11 music player by Graphene to the version 7.0. If you have the previous version, you must delete it for the new one to work properly, so delete the bubble and install new VPK via Vita Shell. This advanced music player supports plethora of music formats, it uses native PlayStation application framework, it allows you to stream and download music from YouTube for local playback, and you can also set quality. And it also supports background playback while playing games, for example. New version improves performance for YouTube parser, and it fixes various crashes. Last but certainly not least, we get a bounty for Android port of Flash Player 11. I think many of us would love to see the native Flash Player for Vita. There is the one for PSP, but that one leaves a lot to be desired. Either way, the bounty is now at $369, which is nice incentive in case anybody wants to work on it, which of course we don't know, and we also don't know how feasible this port would have been. Huge thanks to developers for hard work, huge thanks to you for watching, huge thanks to members for support, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe so we can see each other in upcoming video. Au revoir! The blast for the humble pods of magic and mind I take a look at them and realize There's so much for this stuff that we can't discuss On the zealous chat that even my mama thinks that this is a Boom shot So you tell me why have you Let it be so soon You still haven't made a successor Been spending most our lives sitting Death up and the mouse Keep spending most our lives sitting TV and remote